federal judge sent a proposed $1.9 billion financing package for bankrupt Cine World back to the table for a redo but said he's committed to approving some kind of cash injection quickly for the Regal Cinema's parent. Cine World filed for Chapter 11 in the Southern District of Texas yesterday with a so-called dip, or debtor in possession, loan from a consortium of lenders to keep operating while it cleans up its balance sheet. But Judge Marvin Isker nixed $1 billion of the total amount, not for operations, but to refinance pre-petition loans from the same group of debt holders. At a hearing today, lawyers for Cineworld and a majority of dip lenders seem flabbergasted when the judge demurred, stressing Cineworld's dire straits with just $4 million of cash in hand. That's not sufficient to run a global operation, said James Messerhart of Alex Partners, the chief restructuring officer Cineworld hired in August to examine its books, leading to yesterday's bankruptcy filing. Without the dip loan, the chain would be forced to curtail their operations, which would be to the detriment of all stakeholders, he said. The judge offered a few options, suggesting the dip group set the $1 billion aside for now while they, or others lenders, first address Cineworld's immediate cash requirements with a stopgap payout in the hundreds of millions, to keep the lights on, something he said he would sign immediately. I'm not going to sleep until we get those employees paid tonight, he said.